Hi, this is Paul Palmer. Today I'm talking about health. Not health in general, more about putting your own health first. Now, yeah, you can see the backgrounds. It's all about mental health, but there's physical health as well. Most of us, though, look after our physical health and don't consider the mental has aspects, the mental health aspects of dealing with stress, for example. Not being able to go and ask somebody a question, being shamed by somebody in front of the team, the stress caused by having to uh, do things to a deadline or the stress of something really going wrong and, and PTSD, but not really full on PTSD, but maybe you're in front of a room doing a massive presentation to thousands of people and the technology didn't work. And then you get stressed about it when you next time are asked to do a presentation, even though it's just for 10 people, because you have to deal with the technology again. Now, many of us just get on with life. I certainly do. And often I don't think about how things have impacted me and, and why they stopped me doing something else. It's about the story I was telling you about earlier on in the week. I think it was Monday. What's your story? What's your brain telling you in the background that's stopping you doing something else? Are you fearful of something? Do you feel threatened? And all these different things affect the way that we behave. Now, if you're putting yourself first and you're keeping your own um, work-life balance and, you, and you're thinking of your spiritual uh, health, your mental health, your physical health, as well as getting on with the work that you need to do to be able to generate the income to be able to feed yourself and maybe your family. But how does all that come together when you're working in a pharmaceutical company, maybe? Okay, I, I use pharmaceuticals because that's my core um, experience. I've done a few other things, but, but most of it comes from pharma manufacturing and, and medical device manufacturing. So if I go into work, and the first thing that I get is bombarded with 10 problems. Well, that puts a stress up, doesn't it, straight away. But what if that happens every day? So maybe you're on the day shift and you're in a, an environment where everybody else works three shifts. And maybe there's some overtime at the weekend as well. Well, you're going to really, really get stressed on a Monday morning because you're going to think, well, what's happened at the weekend? And maybe you're driving into work and you're slightly late because it's Monday morning and you work quite ready and there's lots of traffic because there always is on a Monday. Well, how is that going to affect your own health? I didn't look after my health as well as I should have done for a long time, maybe 20, 30, 40 years. I thought about getting the money first. And then I went and I commuted into, uh, where was it first, Swindon. And then I had a, sh a shorter commute up to Horsham and then I had a longer commute to Weybridge. And I've commuted even further up to the north of the UK on occasions, but not, not, not daily commutes, of course. You commute there and you stay over. Now, how does that affect you? Well, it affects your performance. It affects your ability to do decision-making ability. I found working from home my decision-making ability is actually enhanced significantly because I'm not under the stress that I was under. And I can get up and I can get on, I can do things. Rather than get up and get in the car and drive away, I've got time to contemplate what's needed. I've got time to plan. I've got time to do the activities that I should be doing. And rather than them then getting on my... I suppose subconscious and being in the back there and thinking, well, how am I going to deal with this? Well, I'm actually dealing with it. So I suggest you do too. Always put yourself first, mentally and physically. Because if you're not there, well, who's going to do the work anyway? So it's not really worth putting the work first. Because without you, it's not going to get done. Okay, that's it for today. It's Paul Palmer. I'll talk to you soon.